Hello, I'm coming to you from the deck of my, in my backyard, and I'm sitting in front of a, a tree that is just outside of our kitchen window. It's the tree that I mentioned in a sermon a few weeks ago uh, that uh, had a fungus last summer. Uh, the leaves began to yellow and fall off the tree right in the middle of the summer, and we had to have an arborist come and give treatments. And then when the leaves did fall naturally in the fall, in the autumn, uh, we had uh, the tree pruned. And it lay dormant for about six months, uh, as it should and normally does in the winter months. And now just in the last week, we've seen uh, this tree begin to flourish. The blossoms are coming out, and as they fall, leaves are, are coming on to the tree, and, and we see new life that is happening. And this is a reminder to us that, you know, COVID-19 has shut down a lot of things and, and our lives may seem to be dormant, but uh, we have hope that uh, once again, we, we will flourish and, and we look forward to that time. Likewise, in, in the midst of Holy Week, we realize that a lot of things have yet to occur before the resurrection of Jesus uh, takes place on Sunday. He is going to have the, the Last Supper with his disciples and give them the cup and the bread. He's going to go to Gethsemane and agonize in prayer uh, to the Father. Uh, he's going to be betrayed and arrested and taken in for a, an unfair trial. He's going to have false accusations made against him. He's going to be denied by the Apostle Peter. Uh, he's going to be abandoned by all of the disciples. He, he's going to hang on a cross and he's going to bleed and die uh, for our sins. And he is going to be laid in a tomb where he will lay dormant for days. And then the resurrection comes and new life is given. And that is the hope uh, for us. And as we think about the COVID-19 and how so much of our lives are, are dormant. Our, our schools are closed. Many businesses are closed. Uh, our favorite restaurants are open only with uh, takeouts and uh, government buildings. Our, our own church uh, is, has its gatherings suspended and we cannot gather there. And, and uh, this time seems to just extend and extend and uh, as I sit here today, we don't even know if we're in the middle of this or whether it will extend even further. But I want to share with us the hope that we have that we will flourish again. We will gather again in the house of the Lord. We will be the body of Christ together. We will reach out uh, with greater fervor and, and enthusiasm to reach people in our community, across our nation, and around our world. We are going to connect people with hope in Jesus Christ. And as we, on this Wednesday of Holy Week, look for the resurrection of Jesus to Christ to come on Easter Sunday, likewise in the midst of this COVID-19 epidemic and pandemic, Lord, we are just looking forward to that time when we will be able to flourish again. And I, I just pray that uh, this tree behind me will be a reminder to you that we will flourish again and that uh, your family will flourish and uh, that your business will flourish and that uh, your work will flourish and that uh, we will flourish as the Church of Jesus Christ at Cross Point. May God help us to continue to connect people with hope through Jesus Christ.